This is Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Thank you so much for joining us today for Live with Annie. As usual, we've started the stream a bit early. This helps us get everything set up and broadcasting properly to our various platforms. You can find a countdown clock on the screen showing how long it will be until we actually go live. While you wait, please connect with us and other viewers in the chat. Let us know where you are from and whether you're a new or longtime viewer. We'll see you live soon. again for joining us for Live with Annie. We are so happy to have you with us today. While you wait for the program to start, we hope you'll enjoy the content playing on screen. There's so much inspiration, so take a moment to tell us what you love in the chat. Don't forget there is a countdown clock on the screen so you know how long until we go live.
Hi, it's Annie again reminding you that we'll be going live with this week's episode shortly. There is a countdown clock on the screen showing how much time is left. You've got just enough time to grab some water or a beverage of your choice and a snack and to connect with us in the chat. We'd love to hear what you've been working on this week. to remind you that we'll be starting this week's live very shortly. We've got a really fun episode planned for today, and we'll see you soon. Hello everybody, I'm Casey from ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. I'm with you again today for episode 15 of season 4 of Live with Annie. And honestly, full disclosure, I'm not supposed to be here. But I am. I'm super excited to be with you. The main reason I'm here is our scheduled guest, Joanne Banco, unfortunately um, wasn't able to join us. And then on top of that, Annie's been gone and is working so hard on finishing patterns for H&H, &H, Chicago here when we're going to announce them, 
that she's not fully available to fill in or do some other t tasks. And we thought the easiest thing to do would be to go over the website a little bit more and share some best practices. Um, as always, if you enjoy these episodes, please take a minute to follow us wherever you're watching. And if you know someone who might like it, we'd love it if you'd tell them about Live with Annie. The easiest way to do that is to tag them while you're watching, and that'll take them directly to the episode so they can watch, watch today and in the future as well. Um, as I said, today is also specifically focused again on website usage. And that's a little bit of a hard thing for me to do because we've been live for a week. I think many of you have had a great experience getting in and using it and accessing your, your stuff. And then there's a few that are still possibly struggling to get in or are coming. And so I'm gonna try and touch on a few different aspects there, help each one of those groups of customers out and also show off some of the cool things. Um, as I say that, for those of you that joined us last week, you probably enjoyed watching me uh, how would it be said, F kind of flip and flop right at the end because our emails failed right at the end due to kind of being overloaded. We have fixed that. Unfortunately, throughout the next four hour period, we had some suppressed emails due to other setup issues um, as we moved on to another email server client, um, which kind of got people into a stuck loop where they weren't getting things. We've generally fixed all of that. Reset emails are going out. Profile validation for brand new customers are going out. Redirects, we've added another, I think, 500 redirects. So to the extent that you've got old links, those are working. Um, but obviously, it's all a work in progress, um, generally towards the better. And g interestingly, you know, please give all your appreciation possible to our customer service team who is having to relearn a new website plus update all of their kind of form letters and stuff like that to rebuild it out and move forward and and learn along with you because we've had a we've had a few surprises and mostly good experience um, a couple things to just be aware of that we are definitely still working on. Number one is additional redirects. Number two are content updates. You are going to find broken links still on the website. Um, and we also haven't been able to get in because we've been dealing with so many of the general just access issues. And then also because we've been, uh, you know, living daily life and preparing for H&H, &H, we haven't been able to film a concise set of videos like this live or better than this live so that, that we can just direct you right to the answer. Um, we hope to have that done at least by the end of the month. And that way, you know, to the extent that you have a question, you'll be able to find it in the FAQ and really save you some time rather than having some waiting game on whether or not we're responding in two hours or 24. Okay. But thank you everyone, of course, for your patience. And I'm hoping you're enjoying the website. If I didn't say it yet, please post your questions in the chat. The team is going to try and put those down on my list and I will try and catch up to those as best I can. Um, uh, I'll come back to those. Let me just scroll down. All right, so let me hammer just briefly on login because that is the most common issue that folks are gonna have. And we know of one problem that we can help you avoid and a couple non biany issues that I think are worth pointing out that, that may be impacting folks as well. So item number one, we are still facing, where am I, left to the left, there we go. We are face, still facing, if you switch over to the website, um, some issues with if you type in your email address with capitals or something. So I, for example, have a, an account for Casey Unrine, all lowercase, at hotmail.com. And if I type that in, hit login, it's going to say wrong, wrong, lo wrong login and password. We do hope, we've got the programmers actively working on that. They, do, they will hopefully solve that within about a week, I'm going to guess, maybe even by tomorrow, but I don't want to overpromise. Um, but that's a problem. Our system currently is case sensitive, which means if you do a capital C or a capital U or a capital all of it, it could be working towards creating your, your, a new account. If you're very confident that you've had a previous account, please lean towards going towards the reset password option. Okay. So to the extent that you've ever had an email confirmation from us with an order, at least within the last two years, you should already have an account with us and you'll need to go through the reset password. But do pay attention that you have tried the lowercase there and that when you do your reset password, you also do the lowercase. Um, so 
let me copy this one over and we'll go to the reset password and put that in one more time. Again, if I hit reset password, it's gonna say no account found. The reason for that is those capitals. Whereas if I do this all in lowercase, which is the way all new users got set up with the transition to the new system, it will work, okay? Now that I've sent me a reset password link, something else that is, it's not a by any issue, it's more of an email issue that I think is worth touching on is email clients handle emails and truncate emails and hide emails differently. Um, and that's one challenge. And if you were like, well, if for any reason you were, you weren't getting the email as soon as you expected and you come back in and you send yourself another one, it's possible, oops, go back to the reset password. It's very likely that you have more than one email coming and because of it being a very specific, fairly sensitive tokenized access to reset access, uh, a, a fairly sensitive process, it is limited to only one and we try to protect it as much as possible because we don't want just anybody to get access to your account or, be, or, or to be looking for these. So, sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied there. If I show you, for example, uh, let me show the Hotmail version first. Um, this is a really old account that I have from Hotmail. I Hopefully there's nothing inappropriate in here. <laughs> but for some reason, Hotmail, for example, returns top results and all results. The all results, I have one here from 11.22 a.m. The top results, for some reason, this password reset is from May 11th, March 11th, and it's still showing up as kind of my most recent thing. Um, and then if I go into this one, since I've just sent myself two in a row, you know, I, just based on Hotmail's process, because this I wouldn't say is, is necessarily anything related to Biani, like I can't even find it because Hotmail, unfortunately I can't even train you on how Hotmail <laughs> works. Hotmail does something really weird with with the way it's organizing things out. In the all results, you can see I have a 206 here and a 207, but those are not showing up in my top results for some reason. So I did, I did do a, a quick search for reset because I know the email coming from us is gonna say password reset, okay? And as you can see, there's a 206 and a 207 email here. Just to illustrate the result, if I go into the 206 and I hit change password, it is gonna tell me that's an invalid signup token, okay? That means that email and the link that's in it is already broken and wrong. You can kind of see right here, it says at the end of the URL, a specialized token. Um, and the reason that it's no longer working is because I have this other email here that was sent at 2.07 a minute later that has what is gonna be a valid link, okay? Um, I guess I'll go ahead and click on that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reset my password so that in case somebody watches this a year from now, if that link is somehow still valid, it'll invalidate it. <laughs> um, now let me retype that one more time. And then as we talk about all of this, another really important thing to mention is please just take your time. Um, I can't tell you how many times when I'm in a rush with my phone or whatever else, I type in an, a password twice, hope I got it right, and then I forget. And then you're back in the same circle and loop. And admittedly, you know, on my end, it's, it's tempting to blame the company, especially when I know they've been going through problems or when they've had a website change. But the reality is I just typed it wrong. Um, so please be extra careful at this stage to make sure that you're resetting it correctly, you're remembering it, you're writing it down, or you're using your password save in order to, to get it saved. Um, I was gonna mention, sorry to belabor this point, but I was gonna mention one other item to the extent that folks are potentially, uh, where'd my, to the extent that you're using Gmail, so I also had a little kind of test email around Gmail. Keep in mind that Gmail displays the first result and it'll display the content but then if you send yourself multiple emails, it'll truncate and hide that content. And again, this 
first one is the first email 23 minutes ago. Well, and then this last one is the most recent one, and that is the only link that's going to work because that link does get replaced every time you ask for a reset password. Okay? Um, and that's just, you know, you can see, I mean, those emails came in within a minute. So again, just please be patient. And with all that said, let's move on to something a lot more exciting than password resets. I hope more exciting. All right. Here I am logged in as Kakesha Internet at Hotmail. I guess let me check my script, make sure that nobody's got a question that I should dig into. Uh, I'll get to that one in a second. All righty. So first and foremost, once you're in, it's currently taking you to this back end uh, sales orders, quotations, etc. cetera. Um, something that's worth knowing is we do now quickly and easily expose more information about those sales orders. You can click on them, see what they are, see whether or not they've been delivered. Tracking will show up here and access. And we did, let me double check, we did check or fix this link so that now this link does take you directly to the video so that you can watch your video. Um, super excited about that. It was a little challenge of sorts that, that was happening at the beginning. Um, which, so, so once logged in, that's one way to get to them. The other and the best way is to go to learning and to my courses. So, because I think that's one of the major questions. Where are my videos? I had 27 videos from all the patterns I'd had, or I had three. Where are they? They should be here. Um, when you come here, if you see anything missing, if you are pretty convinced there, send us an email, indicate us that you think they're missing. If you could do us a little bit of extra investigation, there are a lot of times that people had one email at KCNRN at Gmail, another one at KCNRN at Hotmail. You logged into the two different accounts kind of at the same time, didn't realize it. We now will want to help you combine those so that you can see everything in one and just have kind of one experience um, and not, not have problems. If you've got a problem where you have an old email that you don't have access to anymore, send us some information, make sure that you're pretty clear that, that everything matches, um, and then we can hopefully help you get access as well there is as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, once you are in the My Courses, we, we did have a little bit of feedback and this was, you know, it's an oversight. It's also just a design issue. You are going to want to click on the photo for, to get access to that video. Um, we recognize that this little button down here looks like maybe it's the way to get into it. Unfortunately, this is just a way to go see other videos that are tagged add-on videos. This is not a way to get into the video. And then there's no link down lower right now. So click in this upper area. I think if you're on a mobile device, that's pretty straightforward because it just kind of looks like a button. But when you're on a computer, we recognize that doesn't quite make sense. Or, or it may be a little bit more confusing because you're used to clicking on a specific link. Once you're into the video, and you have full access. You can, of course, watch the introductions as you're used to. You also have the add-on video bird's eye view and specific support. When you click and watch one, it should load. We have a small number of customers that are getting a black screen here that says, due to privacy settings, um, we cannot play this video here. If you get that, if you could please send us a screenshot of it, that would be super helpful. If you could also um, let us know what browser you're using, where in the country you are, etc. We don't have much clarity there for most people, and we've, I've, I've seen probably 15 of these, and to at least 12 of them, we've said, hey, please just log out and log back in, and they've had fine results. We do have, I think, three to four that we still aren't sure what's going on. Um, and we're reaching out to Vimeo to see see what might be happening there. Um, it's entirely possible it's something with a VPN or an IP restriction. We're not sure. Um, but if you do get that, please let us know. We want to get that solved as soon as possible because you deserve access to your videos and to watch them. Another thing as just a, a good practice, um, the, the course is not necessarily ending and moving to the next. So once the video's over and you're done with this one, plan to hit next. That'll help you get to the next video. That's going to be a lot 
better experience than on the old digital library where you had to close it, scroll over, find it, etc. And as well, if this is the one time you're planning to do it or you're bouncing back and forth, you're more than welcome to also click over here on that green dot and say that you're done with it. That way you can kind of remember your pro progress as well. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to currently actually store a time code of how far along you were, but that will at least help you navigate back to where you were if, if you like to do that on the videos. Um, another major question, so I guess once you're logged in, let's just reminder, you've got learning and my courses here. Okay, that'll get you in. Another option is if on, you're, you're on the main page, for example, or any page and you scroll down to the bottom, you also have my courses here. And then the third option is, no, those are, those are the two main options to see your courses. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna um, get myself too tongue tied there. Um, to the extent that you wanna watch either this video or the last video, and once we do film those specific help videos in the future, those are all gonna fall into the get the most out of buyany.com and we will start to auto enroll everybody in that at the end of the week once we have the content there you can find it here by typing for example get the most and there's going to be that course and then as well as i say um, at the end of the week or whenever we get that content finally filled in we will auto enroll so it'll show up in everybody's my courses automatically um, and that'll be a helpful way to to, to learn and follow up on things um, one beautiful aspect that I've been super impressed with from, from all the customers is that they are still doing an individual checkout per add-on video. Um, it's, it's really cool to see that that has been internalized and something that you just moved forward with. That being said, it's no longer a requirement. You can do multiple. And I thought since add-on videos are one of the main reasons customers are coming to us, let's just go through that process a little bit first. Where, for example, I wanna get the uh, Place for Everything add-on video. So I'm just gonna, for my ease of use, I'm gonna do one where I do a search for it, type in a Place for Everything, and you can go down to the course and click on it. Again, as I did that, keep in mind, that I scroll down, I went down to the add-on video. I'm not choosing the pattern. Um, super important that you go for the add-on video. I'm gonna add to that to my cart. Um, at the same time, let's go over to learning and let's go to add-on videos. That's gonna take me to the results for that little tag, that button that was at the bottom. And hopefully not take too long. And let's also get, I know clam up is I believe one that I didn't have. I'll add that to my cart because I've got, well, I've got five coupons here, but I'm gonna use three today so that I don't belabor the point. And give it a second to load. Oops, took me all the way back to the top level. I'm gonna click on add on videos here. So this is this is kind of one of those interesting, as I was, as I was saying, um, that button doesn't take you, take, take you where you might expect. This button's gonna take me to all add-on videos. So don't, don't, probably don't use that one generally. I think you're, if you wanna go to add-on videos, probably go here, but I'm just gonna illustrate that it takes you there. Um, what was one that I had that I was just looking at? Was it out and about that I had? Scroll down. Hey, look at that, it was out and about. It doesn't give me the opportunity to re-enroll. So it's not as though I'm gonna have to rebuy. So that was just something that I wanted to, to mention. And then let's see, bowl me over maybe. We'll get a bowl me over. Go jump into my cart. Hmm. I actually have four items. Um, as usual, this is probably always something that folks run into. If you see 995, that probably means it's not an add-on video. Right, that's a pattern. If you see five dollars, it's probably a pattern, unless, unless potentially you have a wholesale account or some other. Or sorry, it's probably an add-on video. Thank you, Jake. Um, unless you potentially have some sort of special pricing level with us, um, I can even do this purchase with the item out and about and the place for it and the add-on videos in it, and just go ahead and move forward. I'm not going to do that today because 
uh, because I don't really want to show my credit card details online. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that item out of my cart. Go to discount codes and type in some add-on video codes. Go ahead and hit apply. It adds it. Go back to discount code. Didn't click in the right spot. Thank you. Um, of course, as you're doing this, as I mentioned last time, it is currently case sensitive, so make sure it's all caps. And of course, because you're doing all caps, make sure that you're careful around like that six, that you're not still holding the shift button or something and getting uh, the six would be uh, the raise to a power sign. Um, double check that. But as you can see, they keep adding in, which is really nice. 86P. Did, did the same thing again. Apparently, that's something as well to be aware of, is make sure that you're clicking into the right spot. Go ahead and apply there. They're all applied. I can proceed to checkout. Again, it does ask you to tell us where you purchased it. If you can do that, super appreciate it. It's going to allow us to, to give our stores a lot more love. In my case, I'm going to say that I bought it from us. And hit Next. If you don't know, no big deal. I, I did see that question before. If you don't know, just leave it as other and leave it alone. Um, if you're not sure, give the credit to somebody. Give the credit to your favorite local quilt shop. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be 100% true. Um, and then we're going to hit Confirm Order. And don't tell me I'm actually getting the error that I was, that, ha <laughs> ha. All right, well, this is a great example. So I didn't expect to show this error. I expected to just talk about it, but I get to show it, I think. OK, so this is something that a few of you are getting where it says that it's still looking for a payment. Um, the reason for this is a little bit of a bug where if you start a cart, um, you go to pay and then decide, eh, no, I'm not quite ready. I'm going to wait. Um, remove the things that you were going to pay for and then just double down on the add-on videos. It can get stuck in this status. Don't worry about that too much, but do send us an email to say, hey, um, I'm stuck in this situation where it's asking for a payment still, but it should be zero. All my add-on video coupons are added in this case. Can you guys just push it through? And yeah, we can push it through in a heartbeat. It's the beautiful thing about our new system. We have all that at our fingertips. Um, we just, of course, have to get to your email amongst many others and, and push go. Um, as long as I'm doing this, hey, is there any chance uh, somebody could do that for me? Um, wink, wink, river, uh, hopefully. Um, just FYI, you just got to find my order, which should be W00452 in the sales app, and then hit confirm at the top, and it should go forward. Um, as I say that, I unfortunately, I don't think there is any other option than to ask us to push it forward. Um, the one other option would be is if you were planning to buy something, go ahead and buy something. It'll probably go through because it'll actually present you with a, a purchase option. Um, but but obviously, I don't want to put you in that situation. That's not the goal of the error. The error is an error. It's, it's not purposeful. Um, to send us a message, you can go to the Contact Us. Scroll down to this. If you're logged in, it's going to autofill your details, which may, makes things really easy. And then just say, hey, um, W00452, I believe. I'm not sure what it was. Um, stuck and can't process. As long as you saw all your add-on videos on that page, I would say, and, and you hit Submit, and that's going to send us an email. Um, hopefully, I wrote the right order number. I'm just kind of moving fast here. Um, as long as you had all the add-on videos already loaded there, we will see them. If you, for some reason, don't, um, and you're worried about an add-on video, please always default to give us the add-on video you want and give us your coupon code. That makes a huge difference in us being able to respond quickly and just get you loaded up rather than an additional wait time of, oh, wait, uh, well, I need these things in order to help you out. Okay? 
Um, let's see if my cart, yeah, my cart is empty. That is because I believe River did push that forward. We'll again go to learning and to my courses. And ta-da, I've got a place for everything. Pull me over and clam up in there. Um, kind of nice thing here, you can, there is a sub search within the courses here. So if you want to just find clam up, you can do that and find it, or you can just hit enter and it should sort it down. So definitely feel free to do that. That's a huge upgrade compared to the digital library in the past. Um, but do note that this search is very much a subcategory search. It's only looking in your videos. It is not looking in products or something. Okay, so be a little bit aware of that as, as you bounce around between searches. There's a question, if you already have add-on videos, do you have access forever? My answer is yes. With the caveat that, you know, if we ever explode, you know, nuclear war or whatever else, I'm not going to nest, I can't guarantee you access forever, right? <laughs> um, we are still humans and we are mortal. Um, just full disclosure, my vision is if that were to ever to happen and it were to be result of bad management or something, right? Um, what we would do is we would make them either public or we would give a short amount of time to allow people to download. You know, we'd give a month or something to give everybody access to them and turn them on for download. Um, we don't do that now to protect our intellectual property, also to maintain our content in that if we ever need to make a change, it's not as though there's a bunch of copies floating around that people are watching old content on. Um, and number three to, of course, you know, bring you back to the website and try and give you the best experience possible, not just, uh, you know, a 1990s DVD experience or something like that. So, so that's one comment there. Um, I was going to then also show you one of the biggest questions is where did petty four baskets or easy does it go? Um, and with that, probably the, uh, there's two, two things to show you there. Number one is it is still, those are generally still available in a search function. So for example, if I type in easy, um, of course I'm not in the right spot again, easy, um, it displays a number of results. If you look down, there's the first ones that have some pricing, which are for sale products with the word easy in it. The first of which is easy does it pack of 25. That is a set of printed versions of the pattern, full color, relatively cheap. Like you probably can't go to your print center and get as nice of a copy for 25 for 80 cents or whatever. Um, it's gonna cost you more. These are great for if you're hosting a guild presentation and want to do, or class and want to do a bunch of things with folks, or if you're a store and you want to do classes, this is a much better option than printing them on your local printer. They're going to look better, they're going to be more official, and they're going to be, um, they're going to be cheap, right? Item number two, so then with Easy Does It, the Easy Does It is now part of a combined course called By Any Basics, okay? Um, interestingly, easy is also part of our free quilt patterns, which is the wickedly easy quilts, for example, and it is returning up there. And then there's a tutorial for zippers are easy, um, that all of which you can go look at. And we may look at each of those here briefly as I proceed. Going into the Biony Basics first, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, not bad. Um, you can see, for example, I'm already enrolled. If you're not enrolled, well, I'll, I'm already enrolled, and so I have green or blue access to all the content. If you're not enrolled, these are going to be in black, and you're just going to have to click a little button here that says enrolled. Um, if you're not logged in, you'll have to log in first. No big deal, pretty easy, and a great way to do it. Um, as I've mentioned, I think in the previous one, now the PDF is right there above the patterns. That should make it a lot easier to navigate and get access to stuff, um, not have to save things in a random folder because you can't remember where you found it on the Buy Any website, you'll find it here. And then we also laid them out in order that we in the order we recommend you do them. So please, you know, follow that through. Try for everybody. If you can get them all done, that'd be great. We do expect to eventually 
build in some price structures, to build in some some pushing to get people in there, and also to build in something with the photo contest for you know best adaptations on these fun patterns. Okay, so so keep that in mind. Run through this whole course and 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 join us for those. If I go up to shop and I go, or sorry, up to the learning and I go to all courses. I just want to show you another way to kind of see all this content and in particularly uh, in particular view most of the free stuff. Um, so if you go to the all courses, which it didn't actually take me to all courses, so we might have a link confusion there or I clicked on the wrong thing. All right, so here I'm in all courses. There is also a video type and you can do the search by different bugs. So for example, you can click on or certain tags. If you click on the Biony Basics, that should return the Biony Basics full group plus the carrying strap, zipper poles, restlet strap, etc. Um, bosom Buddy, for example. I know, bo so Bosom Buddy, I don't think I had access to yet. And this is an example. So if you come into the course and you see black, that's just simply because you haven't joined it yet. Or, you know, if it's an add-on video because you haven't purchased it yet. Um, and again, please try never to give us the $5 for that add-on video. The purpose of the add-on video is that you're getting the pattern and you're getting the coupon. But so if I hit join course here, two seconds later, I should have access. All right, let me go back up to questions because they started piling in. Whew. Still got to answer that one, got to answer that one. So general question that is definitely worth answering. So when you buy the pattern, do you get the add-on video for free? More or less, yes. The pattern should have a coupon in it. Looks very much like this. Again, as I mentioned in the prior video, some of the instructions here of how to use this code are no longer valid. Um, and that's going to be just kind of a little bit of a confusion for the next probably five to 10 years. Um, I saw there's quite a bit of usage of the coupons that we printed in 2018, for example. Um, so sorry, that, but as you saw, it was super easy. Enter the discount code as you check out. Um, but yes, use this code. It's a one-time use code. We will know that you used it. Purchase your add-on video for free. It won't, unless you're in that error chain that I showed you earlier, it won't ask you for payment. It'll just let you continue and, and you'll have access. Um, can I see this episode again like the videos from Annie? Hey, that's a good one to answer. And since I've been hammering on courses today, let's go answer that one. So with our learning module, we also have built out courses or learning modules around the lives. So if you go down to, if you type in live in that top level search, you're gonna see results for live with Annie season one, season two, season three, and season four, which is our current one. If you click on that, you can see again, oh no, they're all black. Why is that? Well, because I haven't joined the course, right? Um, you know, full disclosure from our point of view as a business, um, two things. Number one, if we put them all as fully previewable, you could watch them without being logged in. Therefore, we wouldn't have your email. We wouldn't have any information about you. And we'd just be sending it out there, right? That's what YouTube's for. You guys are more than welcome to go watch on YouTube or Facebook and, and be fully incognito. Otherwise, if you're going to watch on our website, we would really appreciate it if you logged in so that you know we can help track you and help provide good information to you and that you join the course because then long term we'll be able to tell you, hey, we added content to this. So for example, on the get out of uh, get the most out of buying any website, once you've joined it, when we add content, we plan to send an email saying, hey, we just added an email talking about um, you know, how to get into the live or particularly we have another course called helpful resources. Let me go pull that guy up. Well, so be before I do that, before I totally move on, all I have to do is hit join course and then I can watch last week's video of myself kind of trying my best to get caught up with the new website here. Alternatively, also this week's episode, this probably is gonna be a bit of a scary loop. If I click on it, let's see what happens. You should see me five seconds ago and get a scary loop. Hi, there I am. <laughs> I'll get off of that so that we don't get too much craziness. But you can, of course, watch the current episode right here, chat with us, etc. Um, 
and be be in a more closed system where you're not getting ads popping up on the right side and the left and everything like that. Um, where was I going? So I was going to show you we have another course called Helpful Resources. Um, this is one you can see I'm already enrolled in, but in order to have access to everything, you'll want to enroll. And so we added the zipper color card there, for example, and we have a little mesh and fold over tutorial PDF. Um, we should, we've got a couple videos on how to use magnets. This is just one of those places that, you know, things that shouldn't really stand alone because they're not just about a specific pattern, but, or maybe are for a bunch of patterns are going to sit so that you have access to them. Um, you know, circle templates, for example. We have, we have a nice little PDF that helps you get a two and a half inch square and a five inch square and stuff like, or it's not square, circle. <laughs> two and a half inch circle. Um, but at the same time, we wanted to help, we have a little link here that, you know, if you're done cutting around kind of weak template plastic or cutting around paper and you want to get the circle rulers, which is what Annie always uses, here's a quick link to help you get to it, okay? Um, on that, there was a question earlier, is there a wish list available on a new website? Yes. Thank you everyone so much for asking for that. It, is a, it was a super easy thing to add about two days after we launched. And um, honestly, it was something we didn't even know you, got, you folks wanted. So, so right here underneath any product should be a little wish list item. You can click that. That pops up a beautiful little heart option there on the right. You can click on that, see your whole wish list, and if you hit Add to Cart, which I will go ahead and do, it'll leave your wish list and you'll know that you've moved it to cart. Alternatively, I'm going to go over to Patterns for a second. Um, so example, for if I go to Shop into All Patterns, alternatively, if I click on the heart here, I can add it to my wish list. And one other thing that I'm going to show you, let's go to Shop and go to Zippers and a 30 inch zipper, for example. You can even do it on individual colors. Um, and I'm going to show you one more thing with that, where if I add the white to my wish list and the taupe to my wish list, for example, those will show in my wish list. And this is kind of a nice little hack in particular for stores and stuff. If you're regularly buying things with a reorder kind of rule and you want to not have to search for them, you can actually click right here and say, add product to my cart, but keep in my wish list. And then you can go boom and boom and get those t two colors going at least so that your cart's filled out. And then you'd have to come over here and increase your quantities in order to proceed to checkout. So that's the wish list. Um, great functionality for, for wholesalers, great functionality for the, the, you know, the average consumer as you may be. Um, and, you know, I, I've heard of people like, I, I can't remember what patterns I have. I want to, I want to keep a list. This is something that you could kind of use for that as well. Um, for now, we haven't, we haven't been able to roll out something that is like just you scan and add it to your library. Um, we do hope, you know, just throwing out a vision for the future. We do hope someday to have add-on videos for all patterns and therefore your add-on videos would be comparable or equal to your library, right? And that way you could chase things down, okay? Um, so that answered that. Is the problem solved that the tutorials don't open straight into Vimeo, but I can cast them to my Start Smart TV? <laughs> You guys are more tech savvy than I am. <laughs> um, no, we, so number one, I don't think that's a problem that we've solved. We, quite frankly, because we want to protect the intellectual property around our patterns, we do not allow you to just watch them directly on Vimeo. Um, and Vimeo doesn't have its own special integration to know what you've bought on Biany.com. Um, because we're not selling on Vimeo. Um, that would be a totally separate business model and it's, it's not really built for us. That being said, um, there definitely should be ways for the tech savvy to do things like Chromecast and share from mobile and stuff like that. Um, but, but I don't have a tutorial for that. And I, my experience is the technology changes so often on that kind of thing 
that I don't want to promise, right? Um, you know, definitely we've seen that, uh, where am I going? We, we, we've seen that in the past, there used to be kind of a web browser on your TV and you could go click on things, but that's generally died because they couldn't keep up and they didn't have the computing power to do it. So, so now there's other ways with your phone to share screens and stuff. Uh, but no, unfortunately we don't have a good solution there. I'm sure some folks have some hacks, um, but it, it's probably pretty involved. I, I know I try it every once in a while with the Super Bowl or whatever, because I can find a special link and, and I usually end up hating it. <laughs> so if you could please stay laptop based or tablet phone based, um, I think you're gonna have the best experience. Our apologies there. Um, we do have the possibility of creating an app later on, but even then, do you do it to, to the Roku, to the Apple TV, to, to the Chromecast, to whatever else? The level of technology and oversight there and having things break is, is just not going to be in our wheelhouse anytime soon. We're not, we're not that big of a company. Um, where do you find photos of examples of bags? That's a really fun one, and we've made it a lot easier to get to now. So if you go to, up to Community and you go down to Buy Any Models Gallery, that is going to be our examples. Um, and actually what I'll do is I will go to the prior winners and submissions because that's a little bit of a hack. The Buy Any Models Gallery is just lower on the same page. Um, so again, Community, Prior Winners, or Buy Any Models Gallery takes you to the same page. Scroll down and you can see Prior Winners Bags, or all submissions, so that is our entire photo contest, every submission that comes in is listed there. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, you have the Buy Any Models Gallery. Um, again, Word to the Wise is ways to use this. Obviously, this is pretty narrow and a little bit tight. doesn't show you as much as you'd like to see. If you want to see more, click on the View Larger Version, and that'll pop you up into a new window that shows all of them in a much more enjoyable format. And then you can click on them, view individual images, get inspired, etc. Also, you know, there is a search function. I can search for oil drink, for example, and that should reduce my overall results. But at the same time, this, this search function is probably not the best way to do it. It takes a little bit of savvy, but if you go to the filter and add a condition, then you can s and change the, the, the way to search for it to, for example, pattern name. Then, then there's a few more operators there that you can play with. And if I type in all drink, you can see all drink has had, has, has had a photo contest submission that won twice. Um, for some reason, I always like to do I'll Drink to That because I'll Drink to That was our first add-on video ever. It's the first of the modern patterns, as you may say. So I'm still stuck on it. You can see somebody here did a really fun one to hold their oxygen bottles, and then this one doubled down on the on the wine element and helped to, to, to feature a beautiful fabric. Um, coming back over, what am I at, 43 minutes? Uh, apparently my son's around here. He says I'm doing okay. <laughs> Let me think. Um, I answered that. I answered that. I answered that. I answered that. Um, I talked about other free videos. I talked about buying any basics. Is there anything else, folks? I will stay down on questions. Please go ahead and hammer me. Otherwise, I'll probably end in another five minutes here unless you, you get me. Um, let me think. Because it's so easy, I do highly recommend going into the tutorials, for example. So learning tutorials, scrolling through these and getting them pretty much, you know, all added to your to your courses. That way you have them. Um, at the same time, if you do those little by little, um, when you have the need, that's great as well. So, but, but as I say, once you're enrolled, eventually we, we, 
as we add content to, to these, you're more likely to get a notification that, hey, something new and great is here. So that's, that, that's a nice feature to follow up on. Um, I believe an internal staff member said, hey, talk about the LQS area. So as is standard, we have our little message here. It's not quite as in your face as it used to be just because we haven't gotten back to it. But we have the message of, hey, please look, at your, look to your local quilt shop first. Um, that remains absolutely our request and recommendation, although we recognize that not all quilt shops have all patterns, not all quilt shops have all zippers, and not all quilt shops even call, carry by any products. But we ask, ask them. The only way for them to know that you want it is for you to tell them, okay? Um, so from there, from here you can click on the LQS contest map, for example, and this brings up this beautiful little map that shows lots of things. You can also get to that via community and find a map or shop. Um, and again, just because I touched on this last time and, and I've, I really enjoy it, if you pop it up big, you can scroll in to your local region. And I, you know what? I'm going to try this time. Well, no, I'm not. You know, if maybe you're in Albuquerque. You can scroll in. You can see them. If you click on the details, you should be able to see their address and their web page. And as long as they have less than, I think, like 500 comments, <laughs> um, you should see comments here. Unfortunately, there was a, there's a little bit of a snafu where a lot of our winners have no comments because they have so many that it breaks the system and they, they don't get imported. So j just be aware of that. If, if, if you're a winner not seeing many comments about yourself there, it's just because you had too many. <laughs> um, but you get, And then th that website generally should be there and linked. That's a great way to then go check and see if they have any, buy any products already mentioned, also get their phone number, et cetera, and call them. Um, we don't list phone numbers and all the rest here because it's just too much data to potentially have wrong, and we don't want to be in the position of, I tried to call the number and it didn't work, and then we're trying to update those. That's what the, the, the store's website's for. Um, oh, I see a great question, question there. Outside of that, um, before I move on to the next question, if you do go into, uh, if you do go to the winner's blog, LQS, we are starting to add blogs to highlight, uh, the winners. Please do spend some time over there. Keep, keep this local quilt shop contest live and, and get in visits. Um, not for our benefit necessarily, but for the stores. Learn about great shops that have won and read about them. And hopefully from there, you'll get inspired to go travel and, and enjoy the quilting world beyond your neighborhood. Um, great question is how do I search, sort patterns by alphabetical? So number one, it's really easy. <laughs> sort by right here, top of it, click on it, name A to Z. Zoom. Um, you might ask, why don't you do that by default? Well, two reasons. Number one, Airshow is not our top selling pattern and not the most looked for pattern. It's an awesome little quilt, but you know, quilts are not the number one thing we're focused on right now. We're still focused on bags and usables, right? So having it auto sort to, sort to featured puts some of the newest and higher selling things up at the top and also allows us to give you a little bit more variety so that when you come look in, you can be inspired rather than just, um, rather than just scrolling through a library, right? Um, beyond that as well, something to watch for as you go into a pattern is if you scroll down, we've tried to be a little bit um, forward thinking to sometimes propose, propose other similar projects and then you'll, you may also like. So definitely check those out. Um, and then the third item that I haven't mentioned yet today is if you're on any product, there should be this little frequently asked questions and more information here. This is a website tool that we're going to look to expand more and more. But if you click on that, you can find, for example, add on video notice. Oh yeah, this one is one of the newer patterns that has an add on video. Keep that in mind. Don't go buy it. You're going to get a coupon. It'll be for free once you get the pattern. Um, if there's any corrections, for example, hang in there. You know, if you're, if you've got the pattern already, and apparently you've bought it, and it and it was printed before July 13th, 2023, there may be a couple little items 
to review and edit. Um, so this one had a correction. If you have any questions or, you th or you're concerned that, hey, I'm not understanding this part of the pattern, go, go do us a favor, navigate into the pattern, click on that, click on corrections, see if there's anything for it. If there isn't and you're still confused, send us a note. Let us know that maybe that you've, you've, you think you found a challenge or if this answers your question, then you know, thank you for, for taking the extra time to, to investigate um, and hopefully find your answer rather than, than staying confused because we, we really hate making errors, right? But we do, we do that sometimes. Um, oh, sorry, the question was actually, is there a way to sort the courses alphabetically? Hmm. Let me go check on that because I thought they already were alphabetical. A place for everything, A, B, C, O, G. Okay, so, I don't have a good answer for that, folks. Um, just staring at it, it appears to sort them alphabetically after sorting them via tag. Think um, where all the add-on videos are coming up first, and those are in alphabetical order, not in the order that I purchased them, because Clam Up is clearly after Backseat Babysitter, which I had before I started this episode. Um, however, the items that have more of these tags are sorted in a different way, um, and I don't automatically identify what the logic is there outside of, yeah, I, unfortunately I don't see what the logic is there because I can't understand why live would be after tutorials, for example, unless it's something with by any basics. So, so that's something, good feedback, we will work on that. Um, that being said, as I mentioned earlier, go, once you're in this spot, you're in a nice controlled environment, go search for what you're looking for here, okay? Um, hit the search, it'll narrow it down. Also, again, you know, if, if, if you got the pattern and you're getting ready to work on it, you don't necessarily need to waste the time to navigate all the way to my courses. You can just type clam up in up here, make sure you click the course, not the pattern, as usual, and it's gonna take you right in. Oh no, somehow across this whole process, I changed windows or something and I'm signed out. <laughs> oh, double check, make sure you're signed in. Uh, probably because I reset my password and I wasn't paying attention. Hey, look at that. I did remember my password as I just did that. I don't know when I just got logged out there. That was... Um, I, get, I should mention that is another little thing that, we ha that I haven't been able to repeat until today, so it's always good to go live and chat for a while. Um, where some people are reporting that they're getting signed out a little bit more often than they would expect. Um, to the extent that you can give us give us a note, um, try and be as patient as with it as possible, but give us a note that's saying, hey, you know, I'm getting signed out every five minutes or I'm getting signed out every hour, or I'm getting signed out every day. Um, that would be helpful so that we can kind of track it and maybe you know tell us your browser, stuff like that, so we can dig in. Um, are there any other questions? Do you recommend holding on to your vouchers that came in patterns long term? Eh, yeah. Um, I've got lots of data. I should be able to find it. But hey, if you've got the coupon, you can always double down and prove to me that you have the right to the add-on video if, if we ever explode. So <laughs> so it, does, it doesn't hurt to keep it in there um, as long as it's not a problem. I would suggest if you've used it, you know, put a little mark on here. Don't, don't. Don't destroy the coupon code so you can still see it, but put a little mark on here saying used, the date, and the and the pattern. That way you don't get confused because we have had customers quite a few times where like, I've got all these coupons, which one does it go with? I don't even know if I've used it and I type it in and it's being used and then you send us an email with four and we find one is the still one that's still available. You know, they are not unique to an individual pattern add-on video, but they are one-time use. So, so if you can take yourself some notes as you do that, hang on to them. If you're willing, that'd be great. Heck, I mean, if, if, it's, if it's taking up a lot of space, go ahead and do that, right? So that you don't 
you don't have so much weight in your file system, in your filing cabinets and stuff. And but hanging on to it doesn't hurt. We have incredible data. We've I've I have not experienced anybody losing stuff. Um, but that does bring me back to again. Remember, if you're going in and you're seeing I only have three, I'm expecting five. Um, there's two. There's several options for that. Number one, if you had a capital letter in your prior email, we may still need to help you merge those. Um, we're working on doing it via the system, but we're also just, as somebody says, hey, I'm missing some videos, we're doing it for you. Okay, so that's number one. Um, item number two is you may have had two emails in the past and kind of, because our digital library system was a pretty hard to view, may have used two different ones and not realized it. If you know that it was in a different email account, let us know as well so that we can help help you get a unified experience um, and move forward. Uh, I'm saying um a lot because I'm I think I think that's all I've got. I don't see that more questions are coming up. I really appreciate appreciate your folks' patience today with um, an unscheduled repeat of what is probably kind of boring content uh, around the Bionny.com website. But I think you will find that, or I hope you are enjoying it and getting a much better experience than our prior web website. Um, and I really appreciate everybody that, you know, to the extent that you are running into a, into a problem, you're being patient, you're sending us information, and you're letting us help solve it. Uh, let's, I think, move on. Um, before we close, Annie wanted to... Ugh. <laughs> you know what? They always say drink water. This is my first time. All right. Before we close, Annie wanted to let me uh, wanted me to let you know that she'll be talking about winners in the March photo contest and entries to the Adapt a Biony Bag Challenge next week. Um, that's something, honestly, I am not qualified to be able to handle, although I helped build the system for it. She's much better at analyzing and, and explaining the winners. Um, we haven't forgotten about those, and there's just a lot going on around here. Separately, local quilt shop features are coming here. We've got Black Dog Quilt Shop in Claremont, Florida, our featured local quilt shop for this week. Please stay tuned to watch and learn a little bit about what they've got going on and the trunk show that they'll have on display in April and May during the All Florida Shop Hop. Thank you again to everyone who joined us today. We'll be back next week at 2 p.m. Mountain Time with an inspiring episode of Live with Annie. Annie, fingers crossed, will be joined with Joanne Banco of Let's Go Sew. She's a freelance sewing educator, online instructor, and brother ambassador. Joanne will be sh eh, will share lots of tips and tricks for using a s using sewing machine. Oh boy, it's been a long day. Machine feet and accessories when making by any projects. Until then, happy stitching. Annie of Byannie.com and Patterns by Annie. Today we are visiting Black Dog Quilt Shop in Claremont, Florida. They are participating in the All Florida Shop Hop, which runs through April, and they'll have a Byannie trunk show on display from April 6th to May 31st, so be sure to check them out while you're shop hopping throughout Florida. Owners Renee and Craig McCall tell us, Our Black Dog Quilt Shop is a dream and prayer come true retirement can wait. We are a small family-owned quilt shop in the heart and hills of Claremont, Florida. Black Dog Quilt Shop is a 2,100 square foot store that includes a boutique, classroom space, vibrant fabrics, and Biani and Quilters Select products. Customers who voted for Black Dog Quilt Shop in this year's LQS contest praise the store's friendly welcoming atmosphere and superior customer service. Melissa wrote, The moment I first walked in the doors, I felt welcomed and a part of something more than a quilt shop. I have found my happy place here. Cindy agreed, saying that the store means friendship to her. The minute you walk in the door, everyone wants to be your friend. Brenda shared a similar experience, saying, I took my first class there because I wanted to learn to quilt. I had no sewing experience. They were so helpful, patient, and fun to be around. I left there with a finished, beautiful table runner that I am so proud of. I was so excited that I learned so much I made another one. I am truly hooked and can't wait for my next class. 
Renee opened her shop after being so inspired by the 2023 All Florida Shop Pop, so she's really excited to be part of the festivities as a shop owner this year. They have borrowed almost two dozen Biani models to display throughout the shop pop. If you've ever wanted to check out Biani models up close and personal, this is your chance. You're sure to be inspired to start your next Biani project, so be sure to get in to Black Dog Quilt Shop to check it out and tell them Annie sent you. <music>